Hi, Derek Mahoney here, uh, talking about uh, one of my favorite topics, and that is the link between uh, adverse craniofacial growth um, and uh, airway obstruction. Um, for many years, I've been looking at children referred to me with malocclusions. Uh, many of them have a narrow palate, and their upper jaw is too far back. Uh, many times this is caused by what's called upper airway resistance syndrome, so anything that's affecting uh, nasal breathing. And for children, it could be a uh, deviated um, nasal septum, it could be enlarged turbinates from allergies, it could be collapse of the nasal valve, it could be large adenoids, tonsils, etc. So what impact does that have on a child's growth and development? I really like giving my patients this brochure. Uh, it's entitled Early Screening for Denofacial Growth Problems. It was written by a colleague of mine, uh, Dr. Anthony DeLuke, in conjunction with one of uh, my heroes in the field, and that's Dr. John Mew. So a good looking face uh, by the research of Dr. Mew is a face that's gonna grow forward. And we've seen time and time again, children who haven't had their airway problems addressed and fixed early in life tend to develop this sort of long face. One way we can screen for that is a ruler that was developed by Dr. John Mew. And the Mew indicator ruler is very, very simple to use. You look at the um, patient and you place this from the tip of their nose to their upper incisor and then looking at the measurements it gives you a guide whether that patient may be at risk for the maxilla not growing forward and the maxilla controls the growth and development of the mandible so if your maxilla is going to be doing this you're going to end up with the lower jaw doing that and that leads to as i said poor uh, facial development uh, and increased risk of sleep apnea problems and for children uh, you know uh, cognitive development, uh, drop in IQ. There's so many things that I'm happy to send you all these papers. This has been part of my uh, PhD literature review. So what John Mew has now come up with um, is his orthotropic growth guide. And I really like this to explain to parents what I'm trying to achieve. So what happens with this guide, um, you put a life-size profile photograph um, off the face and you superimpose it um, over uh, point in. That's pretty much the lower edge of where the spectacles would, 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 would rest, okay? Um, and you rotate it so that point um, F uh, is touching the soft tissue of the forehead above. So um, the uh, uh, point F, point N, and that gives you an idea of what's called a cranial base. So remember, when we're looking at children, remember their cranial, uh, their anterior cranial base, which is from nasion to cella, pretty much finishes growth by seven. But from seven onwards, you can look at this as a guide as to ideally where that kid's maxilla and mandible should be. So, you know, uh, a couple of tools for general dentists and for parents to help identify these problems in their children or in their patients. Uh, number one, the Mu indicator ruler, nice and simple. Number two, the orthotropic growth guide. Um, and if we have a look, with Mew's research uh, in that booklet, uh, you can see that the more this rotates backward, the longer the face is going to be. And if I come back to this excellent booklet, and I'm happy to send anyone who's watching this video a copy of the booklet, an outline of uh, John's uh, orthotropic growth guide, some slides that John has shared with me that show um, anyone how to measure uh, the Mew indicator line. Um, but in this booklet it's very easy to explain to parents so what i'm trying to describe uh, you know here's a mouth breather look at the mandible look at the direction of growth of the jaw right and compare and contrast that with then this child who has had successful treatment um, developing the upper arch early fixing the nasal obstruction issues and encouraging forward growth i mean what what face would a parent want this one or this one for their child the face at birth is 35 percent of adult population and by eight years 90 percent of the facial growth is complete so you know what are you waiting for um you've got a child who by age seven you have an idea of what's wrong uh, and you can still fix it before it becomes a surgical problem um, and then this girl she's six here mouth breather, narrow palate. Three years later, her class two is worsened. And this is exactly uh, John Mew's orthotropic premise, and that is posture, uh, open mouth posture, uh, is, is not good for forward growth of the face. So I'd recommend this booklet, have this send you a copy. I suggest that if you still can, go and attend a course by Dr. John Muir. I mean, he really gets it and uh, he understands about the link between posture and facial growth. Mm -hmm.